So it's a real pretty Saturday morning and I walked down the stairs and I saw this area and I realized, girl, you haven't done anything to this space probably in the last four months. So it's time for us to refresh this area and I'm going to refresh the area, one of the areas where the twins are. So what I want to do is I want to use items that I already have. Of course, no sense of going out and buying new things for a space when you can just use what you have, use it differently, and take items from other rooms to recreate um, your space. So I have taken all of the items off of this um, table here, and this table is one that I picked up at Ross. And so I need to first clean this area so I'm gonna go through quickly with my dust mop and dust any um, hairs and any any fur because you know I have my fur people here and so and then I'm gonna go and um, wax clean the floors so you guys know how I do this I'm not gonna go over it but I just love to work on a beautifully waxed floor so I have the mirror table here again but instead of it with the decorative elements in the front I'm gonna turn it in the back and so it's open so I am going to use this glass cleaner here to go over the glass and clean the surfaces and make sure all the dust is gone what is your favorite glass cleaner I know some of you guys like Windex, some of you guys might like Spray Sprayway, Mrs. Myers. What do you use? Now, when I don't have any of that, I use simple vinegar and water, and it works perfectly. So I've taken these lamps here. These are some that I picked up from Home Goods about two years ago, and these were in my bedroom. And so that's what I mean use items that you normally don't have in the space take them out of one place and put them in a new space to create a new look so i have two of these now what i loved about these of course i love the gold base i love the crackled um gold effects in the um in the middle of it and i love the round lampshade so i have two of them and i think it looks great with um, against the staircase background as well as the metal art that you see to the right of the lamp so both of these lamps are currently going to be plugged into my amazon device and so i could just simply um, talk to our girl Alexa and ask her to turn the lamps off and on and it will follow the commands and so I like these here and I also like the light from the lamps at night so it'll still have a really nice glow and you can see what's going on downstairs and so I like having on at least one light at night um, to illuminate the space so what I'm going to now do now is I'm going to bring in another arrangement. So this orchid arrangement is one that I created about three or four years ago. And it was very inexpensive when I made it then. The base was a thrifted base. It's very heavy. And then I picked up some orchids from Hobby Lobby as well as the leaves at the bottom. And then I used some moss as well as some succulents that I already had on hand. And those are readily available at the Dollar Tree. So as you see now, as everything is, you see a lot of similar colors with the base of the um, vessel for the orchids as well as the lampshade. And then you see same heights because our orchids are high just like our um, lamps. They're tall lamps. And so we're going to bring your eyes back down. And I have this gold leaf here. And on the leaf, I'm going to put all of my candle snuffers, my um, wood trimmers, as well as my electric lighter. It's all going to lay in this area. So um, you also may notice 
that is another similar color and that is the gold but I think the crackle of the gold and the white in the body of the lamps really brings all of the elements together and I'm going to add another element here and it will definitely ground the space. So I'm going to bring this gold candle holder as well as this candle from Target that is my newest obsession in this pretty white color and once again it is definitely flowing with the um, theme of this area. I absolutely love the space. I also like the fact that um, how I am using the table in an unexpected way and it really brings is going to bring a lot of interest to the area. This portion of the video has been sponsored by Ding Tone. Ding Tone is an app that allows you to have a second phone number connected to your current phone. It allows for free calls in the US and Canada. It has unlimited texting to anyone. This app is available to anyone and can be used anywhere and will provide you with even international numbers. It's a free phone service. To learn more, look at the links below. And what are you waiting for? Join millions of other users and get connected. All right, so as you see, what I decided to do is, since I am using this table this way, this is one way you can actually style a table. I have this gold um, basket here that was from Target with some black pillows in it. If I had two in them, those would be great up under there. So you can have like um, extra pillows for people to, um, to use when they come and visit. So I like that. But then I thought, I have the ottomans and the footrest and I think that might be better because I don't necessarily want to use them where they currently are in front of the twins. So what if we took these pillows away and we put the ottomans here? How do you guys think that would look? Well, we're about to find out. So I'm using these items in here once again, the same basic colors of the black and the gold. And um, once, I mean, they can be sit up under here because they are decorative elements and put them out the way. But if guests come over, I need extra seating. I can definitely have them come over here and they can, these can be used. And if we want to prop our feet up, we can get them a prop our feet up as well. So I like this. I like this because um, it is very practical to use and I can this can be and they can be put over here because I don't want to use them but they and they are easily accessible so I like this entire look and I'm gonna give you a quick overview I want to do a, a minor facelift of this credenza here. It is the one to the left of the fireplace. So I'm going to bring over this large 
um, ginger jar here. This is one of my favorite ginger jars that I found during the pandemic. And um, I am going to also use this new cutout ginger jar that I recently picked up at Home Goods. And so the arrangement that is currently in there is the arrangement that I created um, earlier this spring. And then I'm using this gold apothecary jar. And I love this. Oh, it is so pretty to me. And you know, it's great to have things in, in, in sets of threes. And so I have over here three books with one with two with the black cover, one with the beige cover. And then we have our storage boxes that are from um, home, um, that are from the at home store as well as our gold links and those are actually from Ross give you a closer look of this and I simply used florals and thick picks and flowers that I already had in my arsenal created a cute little bouquet and stuck them down into that ginger jar and once again we're using coordinating colors that is on the opposite side of the room. So now it's time to cook, y'all. I We had a rotisserie chicken. We had a lot of meat left over. So normally what I would do is I would save this and probably make a, a soup or something. But I thought I wanted to make something quick for dinner. And so I've taken all of the leftover meat from the carcass and place it to the side, chopped up some onions and bell peppers. We have some sweet corn as well as some um, chili tomatoes. And I also have garlic in there. I'm going to chop all of that up into nice fine cubes. I'm not doing it properly because I have my phone in my hand, y'all. So I um, just want you guys to know that I will. I went through this and chopped it well. And then in my pan here, I have all of the um, the herbs, the, the vegetables in here. Now, I want to say something about these pans, guys. These pans are the bomb.com. I bought a set of four of them from um, Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry, Home Goods. And they are excellent. They cook evenly. Now, they aren't real heavy, but they are very, very good quality. I shared this with you. If you should see these at um, Home Goods, guys, get them because I'm actually looking for another set for Puda. She loves these pans as well, so they are very good quality. So I've placed our rotisserie chicken pieces in here, and now I'm going to add our seasons, a little bit of onion, Pe um, an onion powder and a garlic powder and just cook everything um, until it cooks down. So the juices that you actually see in there, that comes from some of the congealed um, um, fat when they rot uh, rotisserie the chicken. So I don't want to leave any of that goodness behind because that is actually flavor. So now I've drained our corn and I'm going to add the corn kernels to this and we're going to cook everything up now i'm going to add our tomatoes in in our chilies if you like a little bit more heat you can dice up you some jalapenos and put it up in here and we just stir everything up let it cook through let all the um, um, flavors meld together and guys so this is perfect um for a great leftover night you know i don't believe in throwing anything away i think you can make multiple meals out of leftovers and so what we're gonna have with this i have some um chips so we're gonna do like a chicken nachos i have some sour cream but it's not sour cream it is greek yogurt i have some salsa verde you can use regular salsa i love salsa verde guys I'm, I'm sprinkling me some cheese on this and dinner is served it was absolutely delicious so now this is all about you guys this is the portion of the video where i come on in here and i read your comments and i give you a shout out because you know what it's always all about you now the first one is from my sister leone 
and this was on the UN um, video and she said she's loving the dress. I got so many compliments about that dress, guys. And the dress was from H&M last year. It is such a cute dress. My sister, Tori Tori, says, hey, Wani, love the shoes. We are the same size. Shoe size, hint, hit. Curry, I'm um, Tori. I hear you, girl. Wink, wink. <laughs> Then we have Robin Harris. She says, hi, Wani. I like those shoes. They look nice with the dress. Thank you very much. Um, Roslyn Dudley said, the shoes are so cute with your outfit. I got so many um, compliments on those shoes. And those shoes are very, very comfortable. I am so happy with them. I, do, I wore them to work, and my um, coworkers really like them. My sister Jenny Styles says, hey, Wani, the shoes are really cute. Um, I love the floral colors. I wish we had a market like that near us. Ours is so small. She was speaking of my trip at the farmer's market. That farmer's market is the bomb. You can find everything there. So I want to thank all of you guys for joining me here today as we got a lot of things done changed the house up a little bit cooked dinner and i even gave you guys a shout out i want to thank you all for watching the video if you're new to my channel hi i'm wani and welcome to wani's house if you like what you've seen today go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads also come on over and check me out on my instagram you can find me over there at wani's house just like it is here Hit the follow button and then you will be in the know and as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. All right, guys, so I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.